Export UV Layout. We have created a UV map. Now we might want to finish our texture in a 2D software, Photoshop or GIMP. And for that we want to export the UV map. So that we can adjust our texture to the UV map. Go to UVs. Choose Export UV Layout. Down left are the settings. Here you can define the format, the size and the fill opacity. Portable Network Graphics is fine. The size fits to my current texture, that's fine now too. What we definitely have to change is the fill opacity. This one makes no sense. We want it opaque. Type in 1 and export UV layout. So how do you use this UV layout texture now? Let's open it in our paint software. I use GIMP here, sorry for the German text. But the principles are the same in all 2D software. You use this UV layout as a mask now to modify your texture. Let me show you what I mean and let's change the color for our table feed here. I have loaded the texture already. We want to modify this one. Now select the UV layout, choose Fluid Fill, select by color, invert and remove the wire. Let's clear the selection. Now let's fluid fill our feet areas with another color. And select by color again. Now let's increase the size of the selection by 5 pixels. We don't want neighbor pixels to bleed into the texture later. And what we have now is a selected area that we can modify. Let's select our table tags, go to colors and let's adjust it a bit. More reddish, a bit darker. This looks nice. Okay, done. Let's export this as our texture. This mask technique can be used in various ways now. You can cut other textures to fit just to specific texture areas, for example. Means you can modify the parts that you want in any way you want. Back into Before Artists. Let's load this texture and have a look how it turns out. So, image, open image, table text 2. Let's go into object mode for a moment. And we have a table with dark feet. <laughs> 